I, to be honest, I thought he looked good. Uh, I thought offensively he got he got looks uh, he got good looks at the basket. Um, thought he got fouled at least two or three times, taking the strong to the basket. He didn't came away empty, so that kind of affected his line. But um, I thought for having a, a morning shoot around, this, I thought it was pretty good. It looked like you went right to him from the get go, just try to get him into the yeah, you know it's going to be a process at the offensive end, but you know he can he can get his shot. Uh, try to get him the ball in, his, in the spots that he's comfortable with. Um, you know it's going to be not having Dame out there to obviously change the dynamics of the offense. But um, you know he's a smart player. He, he executed well out of timeouts, and like I said I thought every time every shot he had, he was getting a good look at the basket. Do you think those are the kind of shots that just will fall over time as he? Yeah, well, like I said, he, some of them that he missed, I thought uh, he was going strong in the basket and didn't get a call. So, you know, that affected his percentage. But, uh, you know, he had good looks as turnaround jump shots in the post, uh, made a couple threes. Um, you know, I think uh, I, I, I was very encouraged by the looks that he got. When, Dame, when Dame's back, how does Melo being there change the offense for your three stars? Well, Probably in a few ways. One is, uh, you know, it, do, it takes pressure off of Damon CJ to have to score the ball. You know, fewer pick and rolls. Uh, it won't be as taxing on those two guys. Uh, but the other thing is, whether it's a pick and roll, uh, forcing a mismatch, either for for Mello or for Dame, um, I, putting him in pick and rolls either on the side or the mid. I think just creates problems for the defense. And uh, you know, Dame's a great pick and roll player, so that'll be fun to watch. Name would be out. I have no idea. Just the morning shoot around. How do you feel he did defensively tonight? I thought he did fine. You know, it's uh, look as a as a group we weren't very good. So uh, we had a lot of miscommunications. Uh, so I don't know when when we were as poor as we were defensively in spots. You know, I think it's hard to really look at any one guy. Um, Carmelo got the ball quite a bit in isolation. Do you feel like those are the kind of shots? That you want him taking is that the kind of is that how you want to use him in the offense? Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be um, a process as far as but you know he's been doing it for a long time you know he gets the ball in the in the post or the uh, logo or whatever he, you know he can get a good look at the basket and so I I would anticipate he's gonna play the way he's played his entire career I mean those are the shots that he's gonna get for us. Slowly increases playing time in his minutes. Yeah, we'll see how he felt after tonight. Uh, you know, if the game had been close, there was a good chance I was going back with him. But the minutes were right where we expected them to be. What did you think of what Nasir continues to play well. You know, he. Uh, I was glad to see him hit a couple threes. Uh, he'd struggled with that, but you know, he plays like I said before. He plays with a lot of energy. He goes after rebounds. Uh, he's still figuring the game out, but in doing so, he's he's been pretty productive.